Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learning with Anosha. If you are new to my channel, then please click on subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my latest videos. So, a teacher can mark a quiz by clicking on classroom or by directly clicking on the particular assignment or quiz. So, I'm clicking on classroom and then I will click on quiz now you can see that there is one turned in and zero assigned it means that no student left with the quiz all the students in the class have submitted this quiz so one student i have in this class that submitted the quiz so there is a one turned in so let's go to the view assignment tab and check this quiz so I'm going to click on programming quiz here. So here is the form. Now I will click this edit button to see all the responses from this quiz. So I'm clicking on this edit this form button. You can uh, see my cursor at the bottom corner. So I'm clicking on this. So now I have the questions of the quizzes. So I will click on responses button. To see the responses of the students I can have insights about the how many students entered the correct answer and all that stats will be analyzed here and if I click on question then I can check one question for all the students for, for example question one for all the students question two for all the students so list of all the students uh, responses will be shown below and I can give marks here as well. So for each individual student, you will click on this individual tab. And now you can see the complete responses of single student on single screen. So I'm going to mark this assignment. For example, this is auto graded because I have added the correct answer when I have created this quiz. So it is automatically graded and th for this question i need to grade it for example i will grade it as one mark and i will click on this save button and then similarly i will give marks to all the of the questions after checking these marks and i will give one mark to this question and i am going to give uh, uh, one mark to this question and now i am going to save these marks so now here you can see the and I'm going to release the these marks so that student can view his or her marks. So I'm going to release these marks. Clicking on release, the response will be emailed to the student. So I'm clicking on this. So now email sent with the marks and I'm going back to the Google Classroom clicking on close and moving towards Google Classroom again and I will click on view assignment and now you can see that there is no marks calculated here I can go onto this form and I can just write the marks that that was displayed on that form here so I uh, just type 6 and I will type uh, some message so I will type some message and click on next and now i will return this quiz so i'm clicking on return button so i return this quiz to the student so now it's returned so this is the student screen and i'm going to classwork tab clicking on quiz option and now it's graded and as view i will view assignment and now i can see the marks and the comment by the teacher there's another method to import marks from your google forms to your google classroom and that import marks or import grade option is not in free gmail account free google account because i'm using free account for the teacher there so that option import grade is not displayed i will open my g suite account to show you that the import grade option is there to import the grade for example i have 50 students in my class so i don't need to enter their grades manually so i will just import the results from the google forms so let's start 
so here I sign into my G Suite account and I have a class here I will click on classwork and create a new quiz so I have typed the title and instruction and now I'm just testing it so I'm selecting only one student for the test I'm giving one point to this quiz and now I'm clicking on grade import button and clicking on blank quiz to create quiz and add question I'm importing questions from already existing quiz so I have a quiz named blank quiz so I'm importing its question here selecting that I need this question import question and this question is added to my quiz the right answer is given and one point is given to this question so I'm just deleting the empty question and now let's make a few settings for this quiz I have discussed these settings in detail earlier so I'm not giving uh, giving any details about these settings in this video I've uh, discussed this uh, earlier so limit to one response only one student can respond collect email addresses and leave these two uh, options here presentation show progress bar shuffle question order and in quizzes option so in quizzes option so later after manual re review I will release grade I will not release grade immediately after each submission so these settings are saved and so I so let's go back and now I have created the quiz so now I'm assigning this quiz I'm leaving due date and topic I'm just assigning this quiz to my students but this quiz is now posted and assigned to the students of this Google class now moving towards students interface student will open this quiz attempt this quiz give the right answer submit this quiz and can now click on open assignment and now in that interface there is a turned in option or text that this quiz is submitted and it cannot be submitted again so let's move on to my teachers interface clicking on the turned in result or turned in quiz and there is an import button I was talking about this import button so I'm going to click this quiz to grade it to mark it so to edit this quiz I need to click on this added button you can see my cursor at the right bottom corner so I'm just clicking this edit form button and now you can see a tab of responses now you can uh, see the responses of the students so I'm clicking on this responses button to view the answers or responses and clicking on individual now I can see the submission or submitted uh, quiz from the student and I'm releasing scores and an email will send to the students about these scores so coming back to my uh, interface there is an import grade button Clicking on import button, I can have all the grades calculated by Google Forms here. So grades are imported successfully and now I'm going to return this grade to my student. So clicking on the name of the student and then return button. I can also give some private comment to my student. So typing some comment and returning this. So now the marks are successfully returned to my student. Now. I want you all to know about a special setting if you are using a G Suite account and your students are not using a G Suite account and they are using Gmail free account then please edit your form and make this important settings to make your form accessible for your students so click on settings and then there is an option under required sign in text that you must uncheck this option if you will check this option or select this option it means you are only allowing the students having G Suite registered account with your organization but if you have students outside the organization and they don't have registered account then please uncheck this setting to make 
the form accessible for all of them so this is all about marking a quiz now let me show you the user a student interface that's how the student will view his marks so I'm just going to the student interface and now the marks and the grades grade assigned to the students are displayed here so thank you so much for watching if you like it then please share this video with your friends and family thank you